Magaibo. Hi, I'm Magaibo, and today I'm going to give you the 10 top tips to avoid being ganked. The first one is something which I've mentioned so many times. I've actually made a video about it, and it won't surprise you to hear that the first tip I'm going to give you is don't autopilot. Autopiloting is a ganker's dream. It's something that's built into EVE and it allows you to move to another system or station with you being away from the keyboard. Now the disadvantage to it is that when you walk to a gate or when you autopilot to a gate, you land 10 kilometers away from the gate and that's perfect for gankers. That's the amount of time that we need to scan your ship and decide whether or not we're going to kill it. So autopiloting is a convenience and it's great if you can't be at the keyboard um, doing a long journey but it comes with the risks and sometimes the risks just aren't worth it. I have plexed my account for years based on people autopiloting. So if you want to avoid gankers, don't autopilot. Tip number two, set bookmarks to dock. What does that mean? Well, I actually did a video about that as well. I'm gonna show you how to set a bookmark and why you need to set a bookmark as well. So if I just warp to the station, and I'm in Jeter at the moment, and I'm going to the station, the main trade hub at 4-4. So if I just warp, to the station, there is a risk that I will not land at a docking point. I could easily land a few kilometers short. And that again is enough time for a ganker to scan your ship and kill it. I've done a video about that, I'll link to it here. So I've walked to the station and this cluster of ships here is just waiting for people to warp and to fall short. And if we just wait here for a little moment, and if we watch for a little moment, I'll give you an example of the problem here. So this Sinesis has warped to the station, not to a bookmark and fallen short. And that's given me the time to scan it. If I was in a torpedo, I could have scanned it and shot it in that time. So all of these people here are just selecting warp to station and leaving themselves open to being ganked. So I'm going to show you how to set the bookmark. Now I've docked in the station and what I'm going to do is immediately undock. And I will be on a long stretch of the station which is the docking undock point. If you press Control and B you can make a bookmark. I'll just Go to the gate that I was at before. I'll just walk to the gate and fast forward. And now this time, rather than warping to the station, I'm going to warp to the bookmark that I just made. Fast forward again. Now this time when I land at the station, I'm at zero and I can dock straight away. There is absolutely no time for a ganker to scan me or shoot me. So there you go, set bookmarks to dock. Tip number three, don't carry high value cargo in small ships. I'm giving away my secrets here because high value cargo in small ships is exactly the target that I go for. Large skill injectors, extractors, multiple pilot training certificates, all of these things people are carrying around in ships that can be popped by a thrasher. It's the craziest thing that you can do. So don't do it. Tip number four is for haulers. Those using industrials. Don't use cargo expanders if you don't need to. Cargo expanders in theory sound really good. They increase the amount of cargo that you can take. But what they also do is make your ship a lot weaker. People look out for ships with cargo expanders because they know they're automatically compromising their own ship. And the crazy thing is, a lot of ship kills that I've seen with cargo expanders are carrying cargoes that didn't need the expanders there in the first place. Tip number five, and this sounds so obvious, but people do it all the time. 
Don't go AFK. My biggest kill that I ever got was an Estero with dozens and dozens of multiple training pilot certificates on board and it jumped through from Jita into perimeter and then just sat there. Now they didn't drop but that's not the point. I didn't get them but he definitely lost them. Not that long ago I shot a pacify with 10 large skill injectors on board and again the pilot had jumped through and just gone away for a little moment but that little moment as we've seen is long enough for a ganker to scan and shoot so pay attention and don't go away from your keyboard tip number six this is for haulers freighter pilots scout ahead you know what you're looking out for if you're hauling big ships or you should you're looking out for people who are hanging around on the gates scanning ships looking for potential pilots if you're really serious you can also go on to Z kill and look at the systems you're going to be going through to see if there have been recent freighter kills. So use a scout, it could really pay off. Tip number seven, never ever undock with Plex. There is no reason to undock with Plex. CCP introduced the Plex Vault on the 9th of May 2017 and ruined my game. Well, not quite, but they definitely made things much more difficult. Some pilots are still undocking with Plex. Maybe they don't realize that this Plex Vault exists. The Plex Vault allows you to put Plex into it from one station and then you can take it out from the Plex Vault at another station. You don't have to physically move it. It's like a bank. And even though that's almost five years since the Plex Vault was introduced, this kill was this year. Tip number eight, tank your ship. Patch your resists. Tank your ship. Patch any holes that you've got in your resists. Get to know your ship, know what the weaknesses are. Put yourself in the shoes of a ganker and think, what is the weak point of my ship and how can I address it? If you're using a freighter, then use a webbing alt. Do you know about the, the trick to get yourself into warp a lot quicker? In short, if you've got a freighter and you're warping to the next gate, then when your ship is about up to a third of the speed needed, if you get hit by an alt with two webs, you will instantly go into warp. Again, that makes it a lot more di difficult for gankers to get their act together and attack you. Tip number nine, observe local. Local chat is present in every high sec, low sec and null sec system. It not only tells you who's in system, but it tells you who's criminal and who's suspect. So if you're jumping into a system and there are 20 red flashy symbols next to pilots' names in local, you can be sure that somebody's up to something. So use that intel that's right there in your own favour. Tip number 10 to avoid being ganked. If you're creating an alt for trade, do not put the word trade or in its name. I always pay special attention to anyone who's got the words trade, trader or jeter in their name like this chat because it could well mean that they're carrying stuff like this around. Perhaps you think that some of the information I'm giving you is a bit false because I'm a ganker in which case feel free to autopilot in a small ship, don't use bookmarks, carry around large skill injectors, go AFK, don't scout ahead, undock with plex, don't tank your ship, don't look at local and call yourself jeter trade master one. In which case, I'll see you on my kill board. I'm a guy, bro. That's my top 10 tips to avoid being ganked. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.